I didn't right. even really want to say this, but it's the truth. You know, everybody needs to acknowledge like, yo, I'm tripping. Y'all was tripping, not me. You guys were tripping. I walked through the fire and still held it down and still beat fucking Evan Haney and still drank every day and still beat him. And I, I did everything. Right. Great fight. Um, amazing fight, actually. One, probably one of the best uh, fights that we've seen. In terms of, 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 of just emotion, you know, in terms of, of just the whole buildup and the hoopla. The boxing community has given their insane reactions to Ryan Garcia defeating Devin Haney. Jake Paul, who has his own showdown lined up against Mike Tyson, took to X to express his astonishment at the Garcia versus Haney bout. Calling it the craziest fight I've ever seen, Paul's reaction highlights the unpredictability and excitement that can come from high-stakes boxing matches featuring talented and determined fighters. Jake Paul praised the fighters and emphasized the importance of never underestimating anyone. He further penned, man, what an amazing fight, and so unexpected, I seriously can't breathe. Both are warriors and savages and never underestimate anyone. Manny Pacquiao joined the fry and announced Ryan Garcia is here to shock the world promoter. Eddie Hearn also chimed in on the electrifying fight, tweeting, Wow, this sport never ceases to amaze me. Hats off to Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney, heart of a lion. What a fight. Hearn's acknowledgement of both fighters' performances underscores the thrilling and competitive nature of the bout, which captivated audiences and reaffirmed boxing enduring appeal as a sport. Dylan Donnie's known for his outspoken nature, took to X to express his newfound respect for Ryan Garcia following his impressive performance against Haney Dennis's tweet, You know what at fair play, you earned my respect. Ryan Garcia indicates a significant shift in his opinion of Garcia prior to the fight. Donnie's may have had doubts about Garcia's abilities or questioned his health as was the prevailing sentiment among many in the lead-up to the bout. However, Garcia's exceptional performance clearly resonated with Donnie's, prompting him to publicly acknowledge and commend Garcia's achievements. Not only did Garcia make it through the first round, but he also displayed incredible resilience, skill, and determination throughout the entire 12-round bout. Garcia managed to knock down Haney multiple times, showcasing his power and boxing prowess. His dominant performance against Haney was unexpected, but undoubtedly impressive, solidifying his status as a rising star in the boxing world. Meanwhile, Dan Davis has slammed Devin Haney. Davis wasted no time in resorting to social media to ridicule Haney and his father Bill, who happened to be president at ringside, by posting, Forget Devin, where Bill at, where dirt at. He then added in a separate tweet, and what about you writing out people? Davis went on to add, I'm going to give you all the address to Dirt Spot in Cherry Hill. Need you all to send mad pics of big poster to his crib of Dion in the air. Pause. Davis then concluded his trolling session by finishing, That's what happens when you fight someone the same size as you. Tank maintains a simmering rivalry with Haney as the two have eagerly anticipated a clash that has yet to come to fruition. Garcia made a stunning comeback, demonstrating resilience as Haney managed to endure until the final round despite being knocked down in the 7th, 10th, and 11th rounds. Notably, Haney maintains possession of his championship belt, as Garcia fails to make weight for their 140-pound showdown. Following the altercation, Haney stated he would be amenable to a follow-up. Garcia shared the same opinion, and said in his post-fight interview, I would love a rematch. Meanwhile, Haney said I gave him a shot. It's only right. He gives me a shot back. He didn't make weight, so I'm still the champion. We can run it back. Oscar De La Hoya, a boxing legend and promoter, took to Instagram to celebrate Ryan Garcia's impressive victory over Devin Haney De La Hoya posted a montage of images from the fight, capturing key moments that highlighted Garcia's dominance and skill in the ring in the caption accompanying the post. De La Hoya expressed his admiration and support for Garcia declaring the king does it again leading up to the fight. De La Hoya had voiced his concerns about Garcia's pre-fight annex and their potential impact on Haney's mindset. Garcia's unpredictable behavior and comments had generated a lot of attention and discussion in the lead-up to the bout, leading some to question his state and readiness for the fight. However, Garcia proved his detractors wrong with his exceptional performance in the ring, showcasing his focused determination and exceptional boxing skills before the fight. De La Hoya said it's not my job to like you know babysit or whatever you know, my job is to obviously organize the event and promote and find the fighters. And guess what I found? I found the diamond in the rough with Ryan. He is a hell of a fighter. De La Hoya's post-fight tribute to Garcia not only highlights the young boxer's talent and potential, 
but also signifies a renewed respect and appreciation between the two. On the other hand, Jorge Masvidal joked that the referee must have a bet on the fight as he referenced the point deduction imposed on Garcia. He said this ref must have a bet and Alicia Balgarner shared similar sentiments as she called out the referee and expressed that ref annoying Tim Zhu shared a light, hearted moment when he confessed his eagerness to enjoy a cold beer post wean taking inspiration from Garcia's pre-fight ritual. He said I'm going to start drink drinking beer from now on after the weigh-in Ryan Garcia what a performance wow shocker Stevenson an up-and-coming boxing star known for his talent and sportsmanship took to X to express his admiration for Ryan Garcia following Garcia's impressive victory over Devin Haney in his first tweet. Stevenson congratulated Garcia on his beautiful performance and extended his respect to the young boxer. Stevenson also hinted at a potential future matchup between the two urging Garcia to keep his word and make the fight happen. He tweeted much respect to Ryan Garcia I'm keeping my word and giving you your respect. Now keep your word and let's make it happen. My guy beautiful performance Stevenson's second tweet further showcased his sportsmanship and humility as he acknowledged Haney's community even in the face of competition and rivalry Stevenson's willingness to act acknowledge Garcia's skill and offer him respect as well as his recognition of Haney's heart and determination speaks volumes about his character and values as a professional athlete. Jamal Herring, a respected professional boxer and former world champion, also shared his thoughts on Garcia's recent victory over Haney in his tweet. Herring acknowledged Garcia's impressive performance in the fight, recognizing his skill, determination, and effort inside the ring. Herring tweeted, Got to give credit where it's due. Our wife fought his off, probably one of his best performances. But man he missed out on being a champion with that black eye at the way, but it is what it is. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia was straightforwardly joyous about his win during the post-fight press conference following his bout against Haney. The fighting community had minimal optimism that the former WBC interim lightweight champion would emerge victorious. However, Garcia defied the odds, and he made sure to rub it in the faces of his naysayers and critics during the press conference. You know... This is why people need to stop believing everything on the internet and stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real going on. You know, the last thing you should worry about is a kid acting crazy on the internet. Real going on in the world. Open your eyes. You know, kids being hurt, nobody caring. Everybody looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy. It's a conspiracy. It's this, it's that. At the end of the day, it was real. And I, I out there put that my reputation online, had everybody thinking I was crazy. Back in the day, who's the crazy one now? Ryan Garcia continued to address the public's perception of him, asserting that he remained grounded and focused despite the controversies and distractions that surrounded his preparation for the fight. Garcia appeared to challenge those who doubted him, suggesting that their concerns were misplaced and that he had maintained his sanity throughout Garcia's comments. Also shed light on the personal challenges he faced leading up to the bout by acknowledging his own struggles with drinking and going out late into the night. Garcia highlighted the difficulties he overcame to secure a victory over Dion Haney, his ability to maintain his training regimen and ultimately win the fight despite these challenges speaks volumes about his determination and resilience as an athlete. That was actually with sanity because I'm like, yo, there's, they're hurting little kids, let's, let's help them. That's, That's called being a real man because I don't give a f what people say about me. Right. Not, what, what, yeah. Hey, what, what, what happened? False reality, right? Drank every single night, went out on the first Monday and a Tuesday and drank. And drank. What happened? I won. He did hey, but, calm hey, down. But not, hey, not hey. necessarily. I, wait, wait, wait. Not necessarily am I proud of that. But I'm just saying, this is, I, I, it was a statement to show you, you guys can't really f with me. That's right. I do whatever I want. Meanwhile, Devin Haney's response to his unexpected loss was characterized by a mix of disappointment and resilience. Despite experiencing the first knockdown of his career, Haney maintained his composure and continued to fight, showcasing the determination and grit that define a true champion, his willingness to face adversity head on, and his ability to keep fighting even after being knocked down are testaments to his character and his commitment to the sport. He said, I'm disappointed with my performance. But I showed I'm a true champion because I kept fighting after getting knocked down. I was more surprised than hurt Haney's acknowledgement that he was more surprised than hurt by the knockdowns underscores his confidence in his abilities and suggests that he may have underestimated Garcia's skill and determination. However, his willingness to acknowledge his disappointment and to express a desire for a rematch demonstrates his sportsmanship and his belief in his ability to learn from this experience and come back stronger. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.